Hey everyone, and welcome to Bourbon Bites, whiskey reviews with a gaming twist. I'm Clifton, and today we're reviewing Angel's Envy Rye. So this sample comes to me from my good friend Wesley. Um, he had heard that I didn't have much experience with Angel's Envy. He had an open bottle of this one and offered to give me a sample. So thank you so much, Wesley. I'm very, very excited to finally try this one. So Angel's Envy is actually made in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, the name of the distillery is actually the Louisville Distilling Company, but they're most known for their product, Angel's Envy. They have a couple different products under that name, but this is the rye whiskey aged for up to 18 months in Caribbean rum casks. Now the rye whiskey they're using for this product is sourced from MGP. It's about six to seven years old uh, before the 18 month finishing. Um, so it's a pretty old product and it's bottled at 100 proof. It comes in this beautiful bottle like all other Angel's Envy products. I think that's one of the biggest selling points. They are a great gift item. But for the 85 to 100 dollar price point, I wanted to see, is it worth it? So let's go ahead and pour it and find out. Now the only experience I've really had with a rum finish, especially with a rye, is the Basil Hayden Caribbean rye that came out I think last year. But that one was a bit different. What they did was they actually blended rum in with that one. I wasn't the biggest fan of that one, but this one I think is probably going to be a bit better, especially because they're not doing any kind of weird blending. They're just aging it in those used casks. But as far as I know, this is the, the first Angel's Envy product I've ever tried. So wanted to give it a try and let you guys know if it's worth it. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely can tell that that is MGP rye on the nose. And you guys know I'm a fan of MGP rye, so that's not a dig on them at all. There is a bit of a sweetness on the front of the nose. Um, it, it doesn't really scream rum to me. It still is more of the vanilla, something more traditional of like a rye whiskey. There is some like darker, like almost maple notes on that sweetness that could probably be more from the rum than the rye itself. Definitely very desserty on the nose. I'm, I'm a big fan of the nose on this one. So let's go ahead and give it a taste and see how it is. Cheers, you guys. That's pretty good. That's definitely unique, especially like on the finish of it. So at the beginning, it does hit you like a traditional rye, but I do think the mouthfeel is a bit more, I guess, thicker than I would experience with other MGP ryes. It does go a little, um, I guess maybe molasses. It gets like a really dark, dark note towards the finish, even beyond like, you know, like a brown sugar. Brown sugar still is kind of light. To me, it's like a rich, thick, like actual molasses on the finish. That's really unique. I've never gotten anything like that on the finish of a whiskey before. Let's go in for another sip and see if it's changed up a bit. Yeah, like when it first hits your tongue, you can definitely tell this is a rye whiskey. I'm, I'm a big fan of rye, so if you're not a rye fan, you may, you know, may not appreciate that. But it really transforms. Like once it gets to the mid palate, it starts taking like a deep dive into that really dark, rich molasses flavor. And this is a very, very nice pour. So when it comes to value, that's kind of a tough call. I mean, it's definitely something unique and it's something that I think a lot of people that are experienced with rye whiskey may appreciate. I don't know if someone that doesn't really, I guess, understand or fully appreciate rye, how much they would enjoy this. It's definitely weird and a little different. Um, it's not the most approachable whiskey, but if you're someone that knows what you're getting into, you've, you've had rye before, you enjoy a good, interesting finish on something, um, whether it's, you know, sherry finish or whatever, I think it would be worth, you know, the $85 price point to give it a try. Um, once it starts going up, I've seen it up to $100, so then you're kind of, you know, pushing it on the value meter. Now, I guess the real question is, you know, since this was a sample, will I be picking up a bottle of it for myself? I would have to say no, um, it's not quite up my alley when it comes to that like really molasses finish. I, I like it, but it's not something that I'm gonna want to drink on the regular. So those are my thoughts on the Angel's Envy Rye. I am very curious though, have you given it a try? Um, let me know what you think, because I know this is a pretty popular one, especially around the holidays. So if you've had this one, do you like it? Do you, do you enjoy what the rum does to it? I would love to hear your thoughts. But thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new here, I would love if you could subscribe. Uh, we just hit 2,500 subscribers on Saturday, so very, very excited for that. You can also support the channel over on Patreon or join our Whiskey and Gaming Lounge over on Discord. Just go to bourbonbites.com for all the info on that. But until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites, whiskey reviews with a gaming twist. I'm Clifton. Cheers and game on.